Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a walkthrough video for division three digits by two digits, sheet one. This is from MassSalemanders.com. Make sure to check out their resources. They have tons of great worksheets and other mathematical items. For this worksheet though, we are doing long division. And you'll notice that I have a few of these set up for what I like to call the box method. It's not mine, um, but I do really like it. I do have a little twist on it, but I really like it for organizational purposes. It works for um, other types of division other than two digit, and actually for two digit, it's a little bit maybe messy, but I think it's a really good organization strategy that my students really like. So let's go ahead and start. Looking at number one, we see that <clears throat> the original problem looked like this. Let me go ahead and move this. Okay, so it looked like this, 364, and that means 364 divided by 14. And then I just went ahead and put these little brackets, this little box here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it so you see how it works. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see how many times 14 can go into each one of these digits separately. And we're going to start one at a time because it affects the, the future ones. So 14 goes into 3 and it goes in 0 times. And the reason why I know that is if I'm looking at my multiples for 14, I know it goes 14, 28, 42, uh, what is that, 56, and so on. I think the next one is going to be 70. Okay, so that's how it works for the multiples of 14, and none of them are three, so it goes in zero times. And 14 times zero is the next thing I do, and I put it underneath 14 times zero. If it goes in zero times, what is that number? It's zero. What I'm doing here is I'm subtracting, so I'm doing three minus zero, and that will essentially tell me what my remainder is for each one of these separate digits as I do the multiplication, okay, So, and the division. So I have 14, and now I have, it goes in zero times, remainder three. What do I do with this number that goes into this box, okay? So what I'm gonna do, anytime I get a number in this box down here, I'm going to transfer it up. So this number, I'm gonna change to green actually. Okay, anytime you get a number in this box, it's going to go up, and it's gonna become the uh, tenths place for the next number. So we had a six, now it becomes 36, and now we can get somewhere, okay? So now we have, how many times does 14 go into 36? And we know it goes in two times. Look up here, this was one, this was two, three, and so on, four and five, okay? And that's just the first five. Sorry, it's a little messy. Let me erase that actually. Okay, but those are the first five. And we have 36, goes into 36 two times, and that's 28. Again, what I'm doing here for that is I do 14 times that two. Anytime you write a number up here, you are multiplying by uh, the numbers that are on the outside, so the 14 and the two. I'm going to keep that zero there. I'm going to show you what we're we'll do with that at the end. So now I do 36 minus 28, and that gives us eight. So I have eight there. And of course, just like I did before, I can even grab this and move it. Oops, not like that. Okay, so I'm going to grab it. I'm just gonna redraw it, actually. <laughs> so I grab this eight, and I'm gonna move him up to the next place. So it becomes, instead of just four, it becomes 84. Now I think to myself, how many times does uh, eight, uh, sorry, 14 go into 84? And you can see, if I already can keep this going, that is six, and that's gonna be six times. So six gives me 84. We're gonna see what our remainder is. 84 minus 84, we get zero. This last box in the box method, this is the kind of the cool part, will always tell us what our remainder is. So our remainder is zero. That means it goes in evenly. It doesn't, um, it doesn't have any fractional, fractional uh, components at the end. It goes in perfectly 26 times. So 14 times 26 will give us exactly 364. And as you can see, it says that there's no remainders here. So all of these should have no remainders. Now I'm gonna show you what the uh, not using the box method looks like. It's a similar process, okay? But you kind of avoid an extra step um, that the box method uh, kind of doesn't avoid. So for with the normal long division method, I'm gonna say, okay, how many times does 21 goes in three? It doesn't, so I'm gonna extend it out to 35. And we kind of did that there. We extended it to 36, but it took us an extra step. So 21 goes into 35 one time, and that's 21. This is the normal long division method where I'm just gonna write it out and I subtract. And then I get four and one, I get 14, and now I get 147. So now I need to think to myself, 21 goes into 147. How many times? You're always gonna have to, with double digit um, division, you're always gonna have to like approximate and check to see if it's uh, close enough. So I think 21 goes in pretty close 
to seven times because I know 20 times seven is 140, so I know I'm gonna get close with seven with 21. So I need to do that here. I like to do that off to the side, actually. That, that was my approximation I did in my head. This one I'm doing off to the side just, just to double check. So I have seven times one is seven, seven times two is 14, and I do get 147. So what does that mean? I'm gonna put the seven up here, and then I put the 147 right there, 21 times that seven, okay, 21 times that seven gave us 147, and then I subtract to see what my remainder is, and this is how I see my remainder with normal long division. So it's a similar process, it just looks a little different. My students tend to like this method with the box because it's a little bit more organized. But let me show you, and maybe you'll be convinced one way or the other. So with 25, being uh, the divisor, and we have 625 with the dividend, and we're trying to find the quotient, that's this guy. So 25 goes into six zero times. And what I'm gonna end up with, I'm gonna end up six, and that six always goes up. Whatever's in this box will always go up into the next spot. So really I have 62, okay? If you can see that right away, you can kind of jump to that step. But I know 25 goes into 62 two times, and that is 50. Three times would be too much, that'd be 75. So I need, it's gonna be 50. So then I have 12, as my remainder for this, but I'm gonna carry up that 12, and now I have 125. How many times does this 25 go into 125? That is five times, and it goes in perfectly, and that's zero. Again, if I have that zero in front, I just erase it. So 25 times 25 will give us exactly 625. Let's go ahead and move on to number nine. Again, another box method one. I wanted to take a look at. So 18 goes into three, zero times. Again, you guys should see this process that we can just really jump to the next one. This one's only one time. So if you have 18 here, that is a remainder of, what is that, 14? So that's 14, and then I have 144. And this one I don't know off the top of my head. I know 12 times 12 gives us 144, but I don't know 18, so I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be less than that. Let's try eight. So when I do that, I get 64, carry the six, and then what do you know? It ends up being uh, 18 times eight. So I'm gonna put the eight up here. It is 144, that's what this is from, because I multiplied those two numbers, 18 times eight, to get me 144, and I subtract to see what my remainder is, and I get zero, remainder zero. So my answer is the top part, just this 18. I don't need the zero out in front, okay? Just like I didn't need the zero in front of that 25, and actually I could have gotten rid of this right from the beginning, 26 for that answer. A couple more I wanted to show. I want to show that number 10, this is not a great box method one. And actually, I'm just going to show you how to do long division. So I know that 54 doesn't go into 3. I know 54 doesn't go into 32. So guess what? We just have to go, how many times does 54 go into 324? I don't know that off the top of my head, but I know that it's probably going to be close to 6 because 50, again, I always like to round. 50 times 6 gives me 300. So I have 54 times six, four, two. Six times five is 30, three, two, whoops. And I have 324. So it goes in six times, that's 324, and I have zero remainder. Last one, <clears throat> 31 goes in uh, six, zero times. Again, we can just jump right to 68. No, it's gonna go in two times. That's 31 times two, it gives me 62. My remainder is going to be 6. And then I have 62 again. And I get 2 times. 31 goes into 62 2 times, and that's 62. 62 minus 62 gives me a remainder of 0. So my answer is just going to be 22 for number 12. So I hope this gives you a good uh, an example of how do we use the box method and also regular long division. Hopefully this was helpful. If you need any of these other problems done, make sure to leave a comment. I have an entire playlist for Mass Salamander's worksheets, so make sure to check that out. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.